You guys see how this, it just, it's just like the star, like the hairs are just the star of the show. Yeah, yeah. like to stay hydrated over here. If you haven't drank any water today, make sure you go get some water and stay hydrated with me while we do these brows because today that's what we're gonna be doing. I posted some stories on my Instagram. Stories and pictures on my story, right? Um, and these are the stories. Um, and a lot of people was asking me like, how did you do your brows? What did you do? And how the pieces. So I was like, sure. I look a little crazy right now because I have on obviously no makeup. No makeup out here. I don't look crazy, but you know what I'm trying to say. I don't have no baby hairs, just no nothing. I'm just out here looking all like a, a, a very glazed, slightly broiled baked potato. It's the summertime and I'm just over the makeup. But I am going to put on some makeup because I wanted to show you just my process of getting that same look. Um, I'm not gonna show you the makeup in detail. I'm just going to like do my makeup and fast forward the clip so y'all see kind of how I get there. But if you guys do want to see a full summer makeup routine, my current summer makeup routine, please let me know in the comments below. Like this video to let me know that you want to see that. Let's just get started. Um, light handedness is very key when it comes to makeup period 
but especially stuff like um, when you're drawing certain things. So like if you're drawing eyeliner, if you're drawing brows, if you're drawing a lip liner, like you have to be very light-handed. Learn how to start light and then go darker. With a pencil like this, it's because it's so precise and so sharp, you really have to be light-handed. So I want to show you guys on the back of my hand what it's going to look like once I put it on my brows, but I want to show you before I put it on my brows so you can see the color, you can see how it strokes, pause, you can see how the product looks on my hand. So, um, just, oh, damn, no. I'm gonna put it here. So I want you guys to see, this is how we're gonna be stroking the product upward on your brow hair. So you wanna mimic brow hair. And you just wanna start out light. So this is kinda dark, but I'm gonna start out very light like this and then build it up. And when I'm doing it with on my actual eyebrow, it's gonna be stroking upward. So let me do it over here. So upward. Okay, upward like this. Up, 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 not down. So I'm gonna start with my right brow first, then we can do my left brow. My left brow is my least favorite brow. So what I like to do is just stroke my brow, my brow hairs up and, you know, make sure that all of the hair that I do have, a little bit of hair that I do have, um, it, all the product, you know, from my foundation, from my makeup is completely out of there. And obviously it's not going to be completely on, but you know, you will get the point. Let us start with the bottom of the brow. So what I like to do to create a nice arch, I like to actually hold my brow up. That's the best way in my opinion. So hold your brow up and then draw a line underneath this way. But the way I'm drawing my line, as you can see, it's kind of like I'm painting. So I'm not drawing a solid line. I'm following wherever my brow ends at the bottom. I'm kind of following my 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 brow uh, line, right? My natural brow line. And then I am slowly dragging it down to the tail. Right? So you have that. And then now I'm going to fill in all of these empty spots that I see in my brow. So all the sparse areas are going to start filling them hand is super light right now it's not heavy can't be heavy handed when it comes to your brow you have to be very light i just filled in my brow without really doing anything right so now i'm dragging the the line a little bit to the front of my brow because i do want to i do want to extend oh damn i just messed up my makeup hmm you want to extend my brow to the front more because I don't really have a lot of hair in the front. So now I'm going to basically mimic hair strokes, right? Like we did on our arm. So I'm going to start right here because I barely have any damn brows right there. So we go start here. I like to do the front last, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to do it first. So look at that. Now we have brow hairs, right? So, a trick for the top of the brow. You can brush your hair down, like so, like this, like Tabitha would say, and then you will start to fill in the sparse areas where you don't really see any hair. So, that's what I'm gonna do. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna be brushing, brushing the strokes up. But you can create, you can kind of fill in or create um, a top of your brow if you don't really have one, right? So you just want to kind of drag the product and fill that in. And then drag it all the way down to the tail. And then now you brush your hairs back up. And now it looks like you have a top of a brow. I like my brows to look natural, right? So you can go back in and you can make it darker, but I'm gonna leave mine this light and then I'm, I'm gonna accentuate the tail here because I feel like I just need a little bit more definition. So I'm gonna drag that line underneath the brow all the way back down because I feel like I kind of lost that. 
And I like to see the definition. I like to see the line when it comes to the bottom of the brow, but I don't want it to look separate from my brow. So when you draw that line, you got to just make sure that all the sparse areas that you have in the middle right there, in the middle, between the top line and the bottom line is filled in. I still want to see my hairs though, so I'm going to continue brushing as I'm filling, brushing as I'm filling. I want to make sure I'm not putting in too much product. The the spoolie is really helpful in that sense because it allows you to just like turn it around and just brush and turn it around and brush. That's very important, upward motion, okay? And so when you look at my fake brow and my real brow, it doesn't look all that different. The only thing I would say is that this is, this is cleaner than this, right? Because this has a line on the bottom and it has a line on the top. This one don't have no line. This one got a line at the bottom, this one have a line at the top. And I added in a little bit more, um, you know, pencil or whatever you want to say in the front so I could create some more hairs. But for the most part, it doesn't look that much of a difference. And that's the goal that I was trying to get with the pencil because I felt like my pomade was making my brow look completely different from my real brow. And I just did not like that. But you know what I did end up doing with the pomade, right? And this is very optional. You don't have to do this. Please, I repeat, you do not have to do this. I have the Anastasia 7D brush, right? And I have my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Brown. I dip it in there. Take a little bit, and then I wipe the product. I put the, I dip the, the brush in the product, and then I wipe off the excess product on my hand. And this is going to be my canvas, right? Because I'm going to take off as as I can on both sides of the brush so now the brush is pretty flat and now I can create brow strokes that will act as kind of like a contrast to what I've already done with my brow it's almost like you're painting so it's gonna allow you to draw the strokes a lot easier than with um, not even easier I wouldn't say easier but it's gonna it's just gonna add a different a different feel to it okay a different feel y'all gonna see what I mean but let's start from the front so I'm only going upward y'all I'm not drawing a line I'm not doing anything this is only to accentuate the hairs in my brow so I'm going and we are going to just accentuate that's all we want to do and hand and accentuate okay you see you see you see what I'm doing upward 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 and I'm kind of going randomly like I don't really have like a placement for this I'm just kind of going wherever I feel like a little definition would be needed and then boom that's it and the next most important thing is I'm going to use this old NYX pencil spoolie because I'm going to add some got to be glue to my brow and I know you're not supposed to do this but I do this so this is the got to be glue in the black invincible styling gel it, it dries clear you can't even see it but oh my gosh I'm telling you guys this changes my brow game like it takes my brow game from like a two to a five okay so you dip this spoolie in there you just need a little bit too and I'm gonna find a different alternative for this something that's a little bit more brow friendly because I know you're not supposed to put this on like your face but it's on my hair like my brow hair so I really don't care honestly anyways let's get let's get it let's get it let's get it cracking so I dipped it in there and then now let us bring the brows to life I like to call that bring the brows to life because what because the hairs are the star of the show and that's how we want to keep it even if we don't got no hairs the hairs that I drew you gonna think they my hair and they are the star of the show okay period so I like to just brush it all the way through and that is literally it that's all I do this see but you guys see how you guys see how this it just it's just like the star like the hairs are just the star of the show on this side the hairs are there but it's not defined right and not filled in all the sparse areas are not filled in but 
this side. They are, and I just love, absolutely love it. And it takes me, it takes me so much, like, of a shorter amount of time to do them with a the pencil than it does with a pomade. I literally don't even do that second step, uh, like, unless I'm really trying to, like, do the most. I really don't put the, use a pomade unless I really, really, really just want to be extra. So I'm going to go ahead and do the next brow and then we'll be done. My summer makeup routine, my 2021 summer makeup routine. It's fairly simple. I used literally like maybe two tools and like three products. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next one. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe. And I love y'all. See y'all in my next video. Bye guys.